Scientists say volcanic events may have helped trap water in rocks on the moon's dusty surface. It happened billions of years ago. Researchers say there could be as much water in the moon's mantle as beneath the Earth's crust. Jan Crawford shows us why supporters of manned space exploration are so excited by the discovery. She's at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum in Washington. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning. So these new findings are really upending decades of our understanding about our closest neighbor in space. The analysis suggests that the water um, on the interior of the moon actually means it's pretty wet, and that could help make it easier for us to fly there and back or even stay a while. The surface appears to be uh, very, very fine grain. For decades, scientists have thought the moon was a dry, dusty place. It's almost like a powder. It may be time to rewrite the astronomy books. This is a recent picture of the moon's surface. By measuring the reflecting light, researchers at Brown University were able to detect water molecules in the colored areas. Red and yellow indicates a high concentration. Planetary geologist Ralph Milliken is the lead author of the study. Some of these deposits that we observe on the moon span thousands of square kilometers. They're absolutely enormous. It works like this. When the moon was young and still volcanically active, violent eruptions released water molecules trapped in the moon's mantle. As the magma cooled, the molecules became trapped again. This time inside volcanic glass beads embedded in moon rocks left behind on the surface. A similar process happens when volcanoes erupt here on Earth. On the moon, Milliken says most of the water is dispersed deep below the crust, locked away in its rocky interior. We can bake that water out of those rocks. Derek Pitts, chief astronomer at the Franklin Institute, says the moon's water could be used for drinking, as well as provide oxygen for breathing and hydrogen for rocket fuel. We wouldn't have to carry so many basic commodities to the moon, which turns out to be one of the most expensive things we can do in space exploration. To actually uh, get, say, a liter of water, you'd probably have to mine and harvest maybe one to 300 cubic feet of material. An important question in all of that would be, is it economically feasible to do so? Now, Ralph Milliken still says that discovery of those large amounts of water on the moon probably wouldn't support life uh, as we know it. He said the conditions there are still pretty inhospitable uh, to the kind of organisms that we have here on Earth. Nora. All right, Jan, thank well, you. Well, it's good to know if you two decide to go to the moon that you could get some water. Shirley <laughs> McLean just said once, all you need is a good hat, water, and a good pair of shoes. So there you go. I'd want more than that. <laughs> yeah.